This is a tutorial about like how to. It's an app that tells you how um, the apps that you have that you that you need to update and install or something. It, yeah, if you use install, you need this app to tell you if when when the apps you have um have an update. So yeah, you go to the page in the description. You go all the way down where it says this shit. And then you press hot file. The hot file one because all the other ones they won't download in Safari Download Manager. So you should use this. This app it like scans your local files and um tells you the apps that have an update available and install it. Um, you need a manager. You need to be jailbroken, and you don't need iFile. But if you want, if you want to do everything on your iBar, then you need iFile. Those are the apps you need. You press regular download, then tells you. Wait. Seconds. I'll just pause it. Okay. Well, now. Um. Okay. Now you. It says downloading. And you have to do the capture. Smaller. And you press download the file. And then when it loads up, you press click here to download. And then this pops up. What would you like to do? Update.dev. Update.dev. Press download. Press loading. And then it should go into this. Into this home um, thing. And then it says download complete update out there. Um, and now you go home. Then you go to i and then you go to um yeah i file. And since this is a dev file, you you have to um install it in i file. So when you get to i file, press home the button right here. I'm already there. I'll press it again to show you. And then you go back on, and then you go down to root, and then you press media, and then you press edit, then you press the add button, then you press, and then you type in Cydia. You might already have this folder, but if you don't, you have to do this. Then you press directory, then you press create, then you go into that folder. Then you press edit, the add button again, then you type auto install. You type auto auto install with the capital I too. Install. Then you go to type and you do directory and create. And then press done. Then you go out of there, then you go to um the i file place where you downloaded it, which is press home, go to the library, then you go to download, then you press and then you go to uh um update dot dev then you press edit Check that, and then press copy slash link, and press done, and then go back home, go back, go to root, go to media, go to studio, go to auto install, and press, press edit, press that button in the right hand corner, press paste.
and you press done. And now you start your iPod. And then when um and then when you um restart it you pre you spring it. And then when you spring it, um updater should be there. That's the icon right there. Then you go into it. You should see this screen. And then the bar up here loads all your apps. I've already had this app, that's why all my apps are already loaded. Because I deleted it before I did this tutorial. That's why all my apps are loaded. But when you first open it, uh, your, all the apps, all I mean, this bar will be um, loading. And then in like a couple of minutes, all your apps will. It depends on how many apps you have, but in a couple of minutes, average, all your apps will show. And then, it'll have unknown apps. But this is what you have to do when you see an unknown app. You go into it, you press it, and then it like loads at the top. It takes a, like 30 minutes, 30 seconds to load. Then, you press search on iTunes. You press search and then you search for the name of it. In my case it's Doodle Jump. And you press it, the one that applies to you, and then it takes it off that unknown list. So you have to do it for all of them. And it's right here now. It shows that I have an update for it. It says needs to be updated up here. Those are the apps that have an update. And then when you need to update it, when you need to update it, you go to installers, you go to installers, and you um update it. I'm gonna install the update of Doodle Jump one, which is 1.15. I have the older version, so I'm gonna. Um, upgrade it, and then, and then I'm gonna go back to updater, and I'm gonna see if it tells me that I've updated. Okay, so I'm updating Doodle Jump to 1.15 right here, and I'm updating it, and now after it after it installs or updates. I'm gonna go back to updater and see if it tells me that I updated it. Going back into updater and seeing if it tells me that I updated it. And for some reason when I last opened it it said some stupid stuff, but then I restarted the updater and now it says installed 1.15 and the update says 1.15. So I basically have the updated version. I don't know why it's not out of here, but still, it still tells you the update and stuff. So yeah, that's how you that's how you get the app to show you how to show you the apps you need to update. Shit, that's hard to say.